Hey, I'm Ben. Welcome to my flying vlog. And this is all about my attempt at gaining a national private pilot's license here at Kemble with the Kemble Flying Club with my really experienced instructor, David Young. And if you're not familiar with these planes, they're known as three-axis microlights. Today we're flying a Sky Ranger, but in future videos you're likely to see me flying an EV97 Eurostar, plus an Icarus C42 as well. So I'm five hours into my 25 hour minimum for a national private pilot's license, and today is my sixth hour. So this is a session I'm genuinely a little bit nervous about. Stalling. So we'll do this in the, the, the way we're supposed to. So if you, uh, I have control. You have control. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll go into the glide as briefed. Yep. There we are. So we're in a glide descent and we're going to look at the inherent stability of the aeroplane. I'm just going to trim the aeroplane for the glide. There we are, about 70, 78 miles an hour. Yep. So, easing the stick back. I think a little bit of left rudder because we've got no slipstream effect. So yep. the nose is coming up, the airspeed is going down. It's going quiet. Yep. Okay, the controls are going a bit mushy. Yep. And what's going on? We've got a bit of a left wing wanting to go down. Yep. Very much wanting to lower the left wing. Bit yep. of mush. If I let go the stick, the aeroplane pretty much recovers itself, straightens yeah. it out, but we lost significant height, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now you can recover, so you have control, pop the power on, and we'll climb back up, so we lost at least 500 feet there through that whole exercise, so we'll climb back up to 2.8, and then you can have a go and see what it all feels like. Yeah, okay. Okay, 2.8, we can go into a descent, look out, okay, <coughs> power right the way off, and you'll find that you will need probably just a little bit of left rudder in the descent. Yep. That's okay. okay. Alright, so ease the stick back. Stick back, stick back, stick back. If anything, to keep the wings over, you can use your feet a little bit, yep. but don't use the aid oil. That's it, stick back, go yep. quiet. 16, stick back, stick back, stick back. 15, stick back, stick back. We're at 2,550 feet. Stick yep. back. 42, stick back, stick back. Don't use the aid oil. Stick yep. back, stick back, stick back. There's a bit of breeze door buffing. There's the wing going. So yep. stick forward and just let go of the controls. Picking up speed. Okay, and now ease out of the... Out of the... There we go. Pop the power on, back to 3.8. Sorry, 2.8. So again, through that whole process, we lost about 500 feet. Yep. But, um, and this time we'll do a standard stall recovery, so I'm demonstrating, I have control. You have control. So I'll ease the power off, we're at just below 2.8. <coughs> there we are. So I'm easing the stick back, so this time it's going to be stick forward and full, yep. uh, and full power. Yep. So there's the stall, stick forward, full power. And right, right, and we've lost 50 feet, look. Wow. Okay? Yep, okay. So, there we are, you have control. I have control. So, first of all, we'll try pitch only recovery. Okay. So, ease the power off. There we are, power right, well. Remember, you must try and avoid using the aileron. Use oh, yeah. your feet a little bit. Yeah, yeah, okay. You're worried about the aeroplane. Yeah. There we go, 750 feet, stick back. Back. So it's pitch only, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Stick back, stick back, stick back, stick back, stick back, stick back. There it is, stick forward. And airspeed recovering, and yep. he's out of the dive. Pop the power on. <laughs> so we'll try a standard, or you could try a standard stall recovery this time. We're at 2,800 feet, just over. Ease the power off. There we go. Power all the way off. And then raise the nose gently. Raise the nose gently. Keep the back pressure. Try not to use the aileron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stick back, stick back, stick back, stick back, stick back, stick back, stick back. Come on, all the way, stall it. Stick back, stick back, stick back. And recover. Stick forward, full power. That's it. And raise the nose. You've got plenty of airspeed. Okay. Yeah, okay. So that wasn't quite as good as my 50 foot recovery, but no, uh, no. Not, not too bad. Yeah, that, that takes some getting used to, actually. There's a lot going on. Yeah. And. I think very natural, isn't it, to want to use the earlier one, right. so that's... Well, we have, a, we have a little trick for that. Okay. So if you let me have control of the stick... You have control. And you have control of the rudders. Yep. All right, so I now want you to... And I, okay, I've got the power as sorry, well, okay? Sorry, sorry. Right. 
So you have the rudder control. Yep. And I want you to try and keep the wings level just using the rudder. Okay, so I'm going to get it down near the stall. Okay. Where it's going to drop a wing, want to drop a wing a little bit. And you're going to try and keep the wings level just using the rudder. There is the right rudder. Yep. That's it, just use the rudder pedals. There we go, well done. Yeah, yeah that's good. Right rudder? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a weird sensation. Yeah. So we're just holding it with that little bit of power there. There's the real stall buffet. Oh, yeah, there. yeah. That's a classic sort of buffet where it's stalling. It's kind of stalling and unstalling. Yeah. As you keep the wings level with now you've come a bit good on the rudder pedals, we're able to get a classic stall, unstall, stall, unstall. There's the wind going. I'll just let the stick forward a bit. Yeah. But at no time have I used the aileron. Okay. Okay, so you try that now. You have the aileron and just raise the nose and just try and still use the rudder pedals to keep it straight, but don't use the aileron. There we are. And then if you think if you're if you get to that point where you're uncomfortable, just just lower the lower the nose a little bit to unstall it. Oh. Well done. I'm actually a little bit dizzy from that. <laughs> Are you really? Yeah, weirdly, yeah. We've got a horizon still, yeah. which if you're feeling a bit wobbly, it's, all, it's always good. If you look out to the horizon, yep. don't look so much down at the instruments. Yep. And we'll just go steady for the moment. So okay. pick, a, pick something to aim at ahead, yep. and we'll start working our way back to the northeast. Okay. Um, steadily towards Keppel. So. Yeah, it can happen. I had a student once, uh, he... Um, he used to uh, get upset in stalls and uh, really, yeah, and he got through it all, and he's uh, been an airline pilot all his life. <laughs> so there we go. So and let's enter a descent. Okay. So ease the power. Hold the attitude. White arc speed. Let's have one stage of the lap. Initially. Morning. Drifting off to the. Oh. There we are. All right. That's good. All right, so two stages of lap now. You have to pull it quite firmly to get the two stages locked on. Yep. Well done. Just ease that power right away off. Okay. Two five, we're okay. So let's raise the nose now. Yep. When you feel the stall coming on, recover, which is standard stall recovery, stick forward, full power. Yep. That's it. Stick back, stick back. Don't use the other one. Stick back, stick back, stick back. Stick back so the nose is... Right now, stick back, stick back, yep. stick, stick back, and recover. Full power, stick forward a bit more. There we are. We had hardly any height loss at all, look. Yeah. But we've got a big trip change. Yes. Yeah, can you feel that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel yeah. the pressure on the stick. Yeah. So you can now find the flap and take the flap off. There we go. So I'm going to have another look under that wing. Yep. We're going to roll to the left. Gentle turn. Ease the power off. And let's see what happens. So stick back, stick back, stick back. Looking ahead on the cockpit. Stick yep. back. And it actually stalled symmetrically. OK, let's try a gentle turn to the left. We're all clear around. Height's good. Nicely in balance. There we go. Yep. We're above 2,000 feet above ground level. Ease the power off. That's it. And then stick back. So this is the another one to prove that you don't use the aileron. Stick back. Don't use the aileron. Stick back, stick yep. back, stick back, stick back, stick back, stick back, stick back. There we go. Let's stick forward and full power. And roll out and raise the nose. Well done. Raise the nose, raise the nose. Good. Yeah, what we normally do with these is recover to the climb. Yep. OK, you can do a climbing turn to the right. We'll head back towards Keppel. OK. I think the, the stall in the turn is the one where... When I'm doing a GST, that's the general skills test for a yes. license. Yep. That's where I'm really looking for somebody not to use the aileron. Of course. In fact, we're doing a nice turn at the moment. Let's reduce the power steadily and we'll do a stall to the right this time. So they're all clear. Ease the power all the way off. And then stick back, stick back, stick back, stick back. Don't use the aileron. Stick back, stick back. There's a the stall. Oh, the upper wing did go there, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well done. That, that is, since we did the dancing feet exercise. <laughs> right, you've uh, improved. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah. All right, we can start a cruise descent now, back towards Keppel. So cruise descent, we'll just reduce the power. And uh, I'll give them a shout. OK. Just check that volume's up a bit more, I think. There we go. Uh, Keppel information. 
Golf, Golf Romeo Lima Sierra in Balfour Temporary. Just looking back at this footage, and it's a huge help for me as I debrief exercises, so hopefully you can learn something as well. Talking of learning, I gained a much better understanding of microlights and flying in general, to be honest, after doing what you're doing now, just watching other student pilots on YouTube. So a big shout to Microlite Aviation Channel's Rory on Air. For me, especially his how-to video on cockpit audio was exactly how I got today's headset and ATC audio as well. So I'll link that in the video description. Also other channels like the Micropilot and the Flying Reporter. So I'll link those guys in the description below. So we get into the circuit next and let me know what you want to see, what camera angles, etc. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe, plus tap the little bell to get a notification that the next video is out. I'd really appreciate your comments on this first video as well, and I'll see you next time.